this video is going to be all about effective masking so masking so that when you're powder coating you can achieve results like this where everything's powder coated where you want it and when you don't want it it's masked off effectively so that you've got all the features that need to work properly with no powder on so if you want to find out how to do that and achieve results like this I'll explain a bit more as to what is a there's a circle in the middle of this brake drum with no powder on. Um, yes, stay tuned and uh, you'll see how I do it. So next <laughs> on to uh, masking. There's a lot of masking to do on these. Basically, I'm going to mask the top over, so mask the bore off, mask all this surface off here, mask that surface here, so that diameter, uh, that surface, Uh, the bore and then I should be masking uh, putting discs over all the holes both sides so yeah quite a bit to do and there's two of them so uh, I'm gonna get to gonna get cracking on them as you can see from the bench um, there's very few tools involved but it takes an awful lot of time uh, on the bench we've got uh, a couple of very sharp knives we've got the polymer high temperature tape which is the green tape So that's, uh, that's those edges done. So now I'll do the same on this one. Um, I've got some clean cloths and I've got some acetone. So basically I'm going through and degreasing locally the areas where I need to attach the tape and making sure it's really attached really, really well. Uh, and then carefully removing the excess tape to leave the faces covered in tape that I do not want powder coating. So that's, uh, that's that surface. Now I've got to just do that diameter and cap it off. So that's uh, that's that all done. Uh, so me being me, I'd like to be able to powder coat inside here, which means masking off from that diameter somehow, uh, which is going to be a bit tricky unless I cut something that size and just plug it like that. Um, because that would be nice if it's powder coat. You're never ever going to see this because it's inside the but drive shaft comes out of here, so there's the back of the drive shaft which you're never going to see. Um, but me being me, um, I'd like to be able to do that. So I don't think I don't think that surface matters. Looking at it, it's a little bit pitted, like it's seen a bit of bit of corrosion, surface corrosion action. So I think that's okay. I'm just going to double double check on the engineering drawing in the manual to see if that's okay uh, to to to, uh, to powder coat that. 
and then I'll probably ma make um, a nice little bung just to pop in there um, which will allow me to get powder in there if not I can just put some paint on it with a brush when I assemble it which probably would be the easiest thing to do a lot of boring math later that surface there is the surface where the oil seal sits that surface is where the bearing sits so obviously I don't want any powder coat from um, from there all the way in so really if I protected that face across that would be good but that's going to be quite tricky with tape anyway I'm going to sleep on that one and, uh, and uh, decide tomorrow so I'll get on with the other one but you can see that's all uh, that's all done there that and everything else is, is done So that's that one. Right. right, I'll crack on with this second one and then I'll call it a day. The following day. Nice, isn't it? That? Beautiful. Love these. Um, right, what are we doing today? We are doing some more masking. Uh, this time we are doing the brake drums. So important thing uh, about brake drums, you can't uh, you can't powder coat the inside, or you shouldn't do, because it wouldn't work very well. So that's all masked off now inside. Uh, I did think about making uh, did think about making a wooden uh, mask, a physical wooden mask. But then I would have had to make two, so that would have taken time. I've already got already got the tape. So I thought, well, it's only a bit of tape, uh, soon mask them off, uh, I can powder coat them both at the same time then. And I've got a couple of wooden, well, one of the bit that they've got to do in silver. So, um, so that's, what, that's what I'm doing today. So, why is it masked on the outside? Right, uh, another important thing, this, these, uh, Y wheel adapters. That face there, very important, must be metal. That face on the, on the brake drum has to be metal as well. So, metal to metal contact, can't have any powder coating on there, so that's going on there, like that, line it all up with the holes, just nice and carefully, and I'll cut round it with my standing knife. Bob's your uncle. So now I've just got to work out a way to uh, to hang that. There, yeah, I'm not uh, not completely removing the the um, the tape. Just made a little split in it so I can get the hook through there, get metal to metal contact, and um, that will work nicely. So there you can see that's hanging and it's just hanging, see the wire there, it's just hanging away from this surface so the powder can get all around there and coat it. So I'll just hang this up and um, get on with the next one. So initially they were uh, degreased, um, rough degreasing, then initial blasting to remove all the paint etc. Then they were outgassed. Then they had a second blasting to remove the outgas surface layer. Then they were locally degreased and masked. 
and then they had a final degrease. Then prepped, ready, uh, hanging there with uh, copper wires to ensure conductivity. And they're all sitting there now, awaiting to be powder coated, which I'm, which I shall do tomorrow now. Really pleased with that. Really pleased. Um, the colour is called Winter Silver, and um, so that's the oil filter, um, the uh, oil filter bowl that has the uh, replacement uh, paper filter in. So I'm going back to that old-fashioned filter because I kind of like that on the car, and I'll be uh, selling on my um, more modern canister throwaway filter um, adapter. So. Um, it's uh, a bit more period, I think, like this. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with those. Um, I'm still actually on the on the first um, bit of free sample. I had a free sample from this supplier, and um, it's I'm, st I'm still using that at the minute. But the, I bought a kilo off off them, and um, I'll be using that for my wheels, which is the original reason that I decided to go and um, set up my own powder coating. Facility. So, yes, I'm looking forward to uh, to, uh, to doing them. So anyway, they're uh, pretty hot at the moment. The uh, the um, drums, obviously, they hold a lot of heat. They do, so they take quite a long time to, to cool down. So I'm just going to leave them hanging there. I'm going to have myself a cup of coffee and um, a piece of Christmas cake. I know it's a bit early, but hey ho! And um, come back to them and uh, take the masking tape off. On the bench today, we have. The test vertical link, a rear link, which we are unmasking. I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, video on uh, on effective masking. It's so important to um, to mask your components sort of properly. Um, I have heard of uh, people who have had um, mask uh, uh, powder coating done, uh, and it's and they come back and they go, oh god, that was brilliant. It didn't cost me much at all, uh, and that's really they are really, you only get what you pay for in the, in this powder coating world. I mean, you can see from the video and one of my previous videos just how much work and effort I put into this process which effectively is a very it's a fairly complicated process you need a lot of equipment to be able to do it so it's so important to me that you, you do it right and you do it well um, I've heard of people go uh, and take things like like uh, like rocker boxes in to to be powder coated and uh, they've come back they go oh, yeah great it didn't cost me much um, but what you found is that they haven't the, the powder coat hasn't masked off the inside, so they just powder coated the whole thing. And um, so you might have blasted it all and powder coated it all, but you really don't know how good the job's been done. Um, you pay your money, you, you take your choice. I'm not saying they're all they're all bad out there. There are some really good powder coaters that do take a lot of care and a lot of attention and do things that are like the way I do them. But I have heard of somebody who had a rocker cover done. Uh, and at the top of the rocker cover there's a bit of an air breather in there and they powder coated all inside and obviously they weren't paying much attention to the way it was in, it powder coated inside because it shouldn't have been powder coated in the first place but anyway um, what they didn't know at the time they installed it in the car after, being, after rebuilding the car that started running the car and um, lo and behold 
grit and grit uh, media came out that was lodged inside the rocker blocker the rocker box breather and found its way into the engine and just ruined all the bearings so that was a second another engine rebuild so be very careful um when you go out there to get your powder coating done if you're not getting it done if you're not doing it yourself or you, you've not got anybody that you really really trust them just be really really careful um so what am i pleased about? i'm really <laughs> pleased with the powder coating uh, that i've done um this tape is absolutely brilliant polymer tape i can't sing the praises of this highly enough it is absolutely brilliant um it's just absolutely brilliant as long as your surfaces are clean and free of grease um then this will stick and it will stick really really well when you do put it on put it on with, with like the edge of a, a piece of plastic um like an old credit card or something and really just smooth it down or smooth it down with your fingernail um, and it will, it will stick really, really well. The last thing I want to show you is the rear hub that's featured in quite a few of these recent videos. Um, so that's the finished article, and I think you can see that it uh, looks rather nice. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm not very pleased with it, to be fair. And um, yes, as you'll see, I did manage to get the powder in, powder coating in there, and I did it by just masking that surface there with uh, several um, several part, several pieces of the of the tape so I use the tape to to make a to make a circle over there and uh, in fact now what I did I worked out measured the size of that made a circle on a piece of uh, on a piece of um, metal I think it was carefully peeled it off and stuck it onto there and it, and it fitted perfectly and that's that's how I did it um, remember it's um, it's only got to hold back a, a few psi, probably about five psi is the max that you, you powder coat it out. So it really doesn't need to do a lot of work to stop the powder going into the places like inside here where all the bearings are going to go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you had and you've stuck with it this far, please don't forget to click the like button. Please subscribe and uh, please share it uh, with other people that you know that may be interested in this content. It would be great to grow the channel a bit more. So. Um, thanks very much for all your support for all those uh, all those growing subscribers that I've got now. Uh, it's great to have you on board. Uh, stay tuned because there's a lot more coming.